Hey Duelists, it's that time again, and yes, it is time to duel, but it's also time to crack open the brand new 25th Anniversary Tin Dueling Mirrors, and it's got so much cool stuff inside, we've literally got to go to the back for basically the thesaurus of all the great dueling packs that we have within. So, taking a look here, we are going to be able to pull cards from Power of the Elements, Photon Hypernova, Cyberstorm Access, Duelist Nexus, Age of Overlord, Maze of Memories, Maze of Millennia, Amazing Defenders, Wild Survivors, Valiant Smashers, and more. And you've seen all the great previews on all the Yu-Gi-Oh! social media sites featuring great cards from the anime, maybe some competitive reprints you're looking for, and all in really cool rarities. Remember, there's going to be three mega packs in each of these tins, and each will contain a number of rarities, including that fabulous 25th anniversary quarter century secret rare. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack open these beautiful tins and see exactly what we have inside. Considering how large the card pool is, there's going to be so many cards, we probably won't see everything in this video, so you're going to have to check out each video and open a few of your own tins to find out what's inside. Speaking of these brand new tins, you'll be able to pick these up at your official tournament store on September 18th, and then they're available everywhere else you get your Yu-Gi-Oh! packs on September 20th. All right, without further ado, it is time to open these packs, shall we? All right, so, my goodness, this is always fun, but we're gonna set one of these to the side and start to pull this open. Again, nice to see Seto and Yugi there. They have never looked better. But also the tin really looks cool. Besides the Mega Packs, if you take a look on the sides here, uh, all the really cool monsters from throughout Duel Monsters history, from throughout the series. And uh, pretty neat, pretty good stuff. And we might get some of these, but the only way to find that out is by cracking open these sort of legendary Mega Packs. They've been doing these for so long, but they still never lose their charm. Because there isn't ever quite a pack like this, right? So here we go. It is actually time to do this. Let's go ahead and pull everything aside so we can just focus on the cards at hand. So we're gonna start off with Digit Jamming. Looks like we've got Mikanko Spirit Walk, Greed Jar. We're also looking at Numeron Creation. And oh, this is where the holographic cards start to come into play. Looks like Mimesis Elephant, as well as, oh, nice Infernal Flame Banshee in that glorious, almost Megaton exclusive Prismatic Secret Rare. This is usually where we see that. And uh, still a really good card that's going to do a lot of good favors for you in your favorite Pyro decks. Also, oh wow, Quarter Century Secret Rare Bomb and Shark. Well, Reginald Castle fans are very happy to see a card like that, but wow. That is, pulling this up to the camera a little better so you can see. Okay, well water decks are going to get quite a lot of support this year, so it's really nice to see some of these fan favorite water cards in new rarities. Oh wow, Full Armor Xyz, also helpful for the exact same deck type. And then Transcendosaurus Glaciosaurus, try saying that a few times fast in Ultra Rare. We've also got Ontoatic Daybreak, looks like you're looking at Origami Goddess, looking at Kashtira Big Bang, and then finally Aqua Chorus Round, so some really great reprints across the board there. And uh, ooh, off to a great start with that Bahamut Shark, so I'll set that aside and we'll crack open the next pack here. Ooh, with so many cards in here, I know I'm very excited, I'm always effervescent about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but this is something else when you go through these packs. Speaking of which, Synet Circuit, Synchro Overtop, we've got Mental Tuner, Realm Resonance, and then here's our Ultra Rares, we've got Galaxy Summoner, and that means Bonfire in the Prismatic Secret Rare. Now that just looks excellent there, for those of you who are still working on maybe an Ashen deck or some of the other power strategies. Oh, nice! Good stuff, good stuff. Something just tells me this belongs with you, right? Winking Wing Karibo here, sort of just a fan favorite from the anime, of course. And a lot of these cards are going to be something very special to someone out there. So all of them can be fan favorites, but Winking Wing Karibo from that first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, yeah, that's, uh, that's something special. All right, uh, Melfi Wally, as well as Scatter Fusion. And then when we get to the reprints here, we've got Over Exaggeration, hmm, Reinforce. We've also got Exceeds Align, and then finally the Split Mirror of the Underworld. So talk about your tin dueling mirrors there. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely happy with that Quarter Century Secret Rare. I was going to be trading all of my friends trying to find it. But the good news is, is, uh, well, now they can hold on to theirs, and I'll just have to trade for some other cards. All right, that's... Just one tin, and we still have a second one after this. So Gigantic Thundercross, we also have Sorry of the Silverwing Axe, and the Realm Resonance, so you can see the reprints definitely will help you build those decks. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor, and then for our first holographic card here, we have Soul of the Supreme King, as well as, oh, nice, Tillamence Kashtira. Gorgeous there. 
as well as, ha oh, yes, okay, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and a lot of people, you know, their favorite version of the card is the one from the very first episode of the show, and don't worry, I'm not going to tear this one in half, but, wow, just, you know, the quarter century secret rare, it almost looks like an ultra in the light there, and then, bam, that hollow foil just kicks in. Okay, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's going in the Seto Kaiba deck for sure. Uh, Pearl Leap, as well as Agnimal Candle. And also in the common reprint side, we've got Mikanko Dance, Mayo Ashidori, and New World Formation, as well as Aqua Chorus Round, and Etude of the Branded. So, yeah, just on the first 10, really cool to see what it is we were able to pull uh, in relatively short order there. And I think I might have actually missed some of the additional ultras here, so I want to pull those out from the other side. But, like, you'll you'll understand pretty fast why this tin is just something magical. We'll shore these cards up in just a moment. But, like, oh my goodness, just to be able to see Winking Wing Karibo, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Bahamut Shark, what many consider, like, not necessarily a holy trinity together because they're from the multiple different series, but really important cards for both Shark, Jaden Yuki, and Seto Kaiba. So off to a great start, as well as some just really important reprints across the board. And uh, I am building Ashen, actually, so I will take that bonfire and look at that in the sleeve in just a moment. But we did see we were going to open up multiple copies of the tins here. So let's go ahead and crack open the second one of these 25th anniversary tins and find out what this mirror will reflect back at us. All right, let me go ahead and get this open. Chomping at the bit here. All right. Unveil, as we know, three. And I always love the tins, too, because they're a great place to store the cards that you've recently pulled. So we'll go ahead and put everything that we just got into the tin for storage. We'll do the same once we get into our next packs here. So a little magical hats here. Let's go ahead and find out what is in pack number one of our second tin. All right. So looking at Synchro Overtop a bio-insect armor. Just like we also have Numeron, Numeron Creation, Hydrolander Orbit. Oh, it's an emergency. Oh, that looks so good in Ultra Rare. I know a lot of Rescue Ace fans, myself included, that will be happy with that one. We've also got Revolution Synchron, which has been really popular for a lot of different Synchro decks and looks really cool there. And, oh my goodness, it's Toon Kingdom. Wow. Okay, well, I just need to get two Toon Kingdoms more and I'll have a complete set, but what? That's... I mean, yes, that's a quarter century secret, but you know what I'm trying to emphasize here. If you're a Toon fan, and you know I'm a Toon fan, oh man, that is just gorgeous. Okay, staying focused. We've got Light of the Branded, as well as Ex Pearly Noir. Oh, neat, neat. And on the comments side, Ogduatic Daybreak, as well as Geo the Gravity Ninja, and Sword Soul Punishment, and Gaia Blaze, the Force of the Sun. So you can get a lot of great you know, sort of anime reprints, but also stuff for, like, really current competitive decks, but that Toon Kingdom. Ooh, that Toon Kingdom. Okay. Staying focused, as I said. Still marveling at the Toon Kingdom over there. All right. So, into the second pack here. We have Kitsune Kitsune... Excuse me. Kitsune Kitsune... I think. Click and Echo. We also have UFO Light, uh, Monodium Breakheart, and now we're hitting Unchained Soul of Shama. Very neat. Okay, Unchained's seen a lot of play in and out of the years here. Uh, oh, cool. Red Eyes Black Dragon with a brand new art there. Oh, wow. Okay, and then we've got Green Gadget. Nice. Okay, so off to make the next little Yugi deck here. And Gadgets have been very popular, including in the Time Wizard format, so I can know a lot of friends who uh, probably will be like, hey, Pheromone, yes, yes, it's for trade. Uh, Pearl Leap, as well as Storage Pod there. And then we also have Double Hooking. Uh, Origami Goddess, We've also got Super Heavy Summon My Soul Gaia Booster, say that a few times fast, and Grenosaurus Giga Cannon. Okay, cool, so some really good stuff from throughout the ages, and really loving how each booster pack is kind of a cornucopia of cool cards, so you've got, you know, your anime reprints, you've got some stuff to help you in the Time Wizard side, and you have really decent stuff, and I'll tell you, you know, the original Unchained Souls were typically commons, nice to see it in Ultra Rare, and oh no, well, it was nice while it lasted, and I guess I'll have to go pick up more packs, more tins, on September 18th or September 20th, depending where I'm shopping. But here we go for our final tin of these great 25th anniversary tins. So starting with Chaos Beast, Gigantic Thundercross, we also have Small Scuffle, Greed Jar, and looks like Soul of the Supreme King, as well as Uthea the Primal Being. Wait, what is Thea the Primal Being? Uh... 
This might be a TCG World Premiere exclusive here, so during the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute monsters whose total levels equal one, oh, excuse me, equal 11 or more. Special summon this card from your hand. Then, if you control no other monsters, you can destroy one monster on the field with the highest attack, your choice if tied. You can only use the effect of Thea the Primal Being once per turn. Neither player can normal and or special summon more than four times per turn while this card is face up in the monster zone. This is like, this is like the monster that's supposed to be in Nibiru the Primal Being or something like that because it definitely has some synergy there. Uh, well that's cool. Um, I don't know that I was expecting or that they even announced that there were going to be TCG World Premiere exclusive cards. Well, not to get sidetracked, but that card may show up on the top tables of tournaments soon. But we also have, oh, speaking of top table cards, the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Wow, okay. So we got something new, something old, and something beautiful. Uh, we've also got Rescue Ace Fire Attacker. Wow, okay. Definitely bringing out the Rescue Ace deck today. And then Gem Knight Quartz, as well as the Immortal Bushi Mourns the Mortal Body. Sharv Sarga, Sarga uh, Behemoth, the king of a hundred battles, and then the imperial princess, Kinkeri. So, yeah, that's different, the Tia of the Primal Being. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of wild stuff here. Taking a look at everything we got from this tin to, you're taking a look at, you know, tournament reprints in cooler rarities than uh, the original release. You're seeing Brand new anime uh, alternate arts. You've got quarter century secret rares of some of your favorite cards throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game series, which you can also, you know, pack into a Time Wizard deck and, you know, use that to top, like, your next local official tournament store, Time Wizard tournament. So, there's a lot of really cool stuff here, but, like, did I have to pick any favorites? The Thea the Primal Being has me interested, for sure. But things like Toon Kingdom, Green Gadget, the stuff that sort of like speaks to the anime at heart, or should be the anime fan at heart, oof, that is, that's some neat stuff. Okay, so, before I freak out and get all these cards in the sleeves, let's talk again. Great stuff, you saw that you get three mega packs on each of these tins, there's really cool rarities throughout, including reprints, as well as some brand new cards exclusive to this tin, but these cards are gonna come out September 20th everywhere, but you can get a little quicker chance if you go to your official tournament store at September 18th. So again, that is September 18th. Okay, well I know what I'm doing on September 18th, I am picking up more of these tins, but thanks as always for watching, and uh, I'm gonna go get these in sleeves, so in the meantime, we'll see you in the next one, and thank you for watching. Take care.